To Little Rock Fans Online, I'm John Muller. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez with the top stories on this Thursday, April 11th. South Korea and the rest of the world bracing for a possible missile test from North Korea this morning. Seoul has deployed three naval destroyers and an early warning surveillance aircraft, also a land-based radar system in preparation. There is anxiety growing on the street and in the subways of Seoul, and that is because of an imminent threat or at least a perception of one. First Lady Michelle Obama has made a rare entry into a policy issue, making an emotional plea for stricter gun laws. Mrs. Obama was at a conference on youth violence in her hometown of Chicago yesterday. She recalled the difficulty of meeting the classmates of a girl who was shot and killed a week after performing in the president's inaugural parade. Destructive storm system hit the middle of the country overnight with St. Louis getting the hardest hit. At least three tornadoes there and 80 mile an hour winds causing some damage to homes and schools and buildings as well. So far, no reports of serious injuries, but tens of thousands of people are without power. And in the Florida Everglades, a tour guide jumped out of his boat on Tuesday just to wrestle what turned out to be a 10 foot python. Tommy Owen says when he saw it swimming through the swamp, his instincts took over and he just went for it. When he had a firm grip on the snake's neck, Owen's partner cut its head off. Ooh, they say pythons do not belong in the Everglades and that they had to kill it while they had the chance. That is just amazing. His instincts are to go after the python instead of run for it. Yeah, I'd definitely be heading the other direction. Don't try that at home. That's no. for a trained professional. All right, get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.